We've just had our first big dump of rain in uh, in a couple of weeks, and um, I thought instead of staying at home and sitting on the couch, I'd get out and uh, check out some of my favourite waterfalls in the local area. I think uh, too often we let wet weather, especially, dictate what we do in the outdoors and adventure. And um, I think quite often, actually getting out and doing something adds to it. The Fainer Falls track is only a short walk from the car park. Obviously you've got to be a bit careful of uh, some of these slippery rocks when it's wet. What a beautiful and picturesque place. So uh, Bogong Village in Falls Creek is down that way. The, uh, the water feeds from the, uh, from the high country upstream and Fainer Falls is just, uh, just a short walk up. There's definitely a bit of water moving around. Last time I was here was the start of summer and um, there's definitely a lot more water in it now and it's been pretty dry the last couple of weeks. So I'm assuming this has only really just filled up in the last uh, 24 to 48 hours. Glad I came out here despite the rain. It's actually, uh, it's actually improved it by a lot, I reckon. I don't know what it is about the rain, but um, definitely makes you feel more alive and Natasha Benningfield nailed it when she said uh, feel the rain on your skin no one else can feel it for you so the second waterfall of the day is Lady Bath Falls it's on the way to Mount Buffalo only a couple of kilometers from the park gates and I reckon it's probably one of the most photographed waterfalls around Mount Buffalo as the uh, tradition goes uh, in the 30s and 40s uh, the ladies used to stop in and bathe hence Lady Bath um, on the way up the mountain from Melbourne. Woo! There's a bit of water moving today, look at that! This is as full as I've seen it for a long time. One of the things I love about nature is that it just changes so much. Only a couple of days ago, this would have been a crystal clear water, gently flowing waterfall, and just in the last 48 hours, it's dumped down a huge amount of rain. You can feel the power, there's a huge amount of breeze coming off the falls. In summer I came here for a swim with a dive mask and snorkel to check it out and I was surprised at how many fish are down the bottom there. One of my favourite sayings growing up is there's no such thing as bad weather, only different kinds of good weather. Every year we hear about people that go wandering off track up here, we hear stories of it and um, yeah, it's important to follow the signs in the parks and make sure you stay on track. <laughs> this is Lower Your Robin Fall. At this stage I was drenched and so are my GoPros. The rain was only getting heavier and when you start sounding like you're filming underwater, I think it's time to call it a day. The third waterfall is going to head through today. I think I'm going to leave it for another day. I don't think we'll see too much up there. Alright, so I'm at the third waterfall, it's Crystal Brook Falls, up on Mount Buffalo. And there's a lot of air out there, out towards the valley. You don't have to upsell down to actually get this view, there's good lookouts all around the gorge. There's Mount Bogong, Victoria's highest mountain. The north wall of Mount Buffalo, which is 300 metres high. This falls, Crystal Brook Falls, feeds right down into the creek and then eventually becomes Lady Bath Falls down towards the bottom of the mountain. Man, what a beautiful day for it. Goes to show that uh, a bit of rainfall is usually a pretty good thing, especially when you're dealing with creeks, rivers uh, and waterfalls. They always come to life after a bit of rain. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs>